Sometimes the simplest is the best. What am I talking about? Well, stick with me. We're going to jump into this together and I'm going to explain. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this little guy with you now. It's a pretty simple design, and what I did is I created this for my Ender 3. Now, one of the pieces I'm doing is Creality has had a super deal on the uh, Ender 3s, the basic one, what have you, for under 200 bucks. I've bought a number of them to refresh my printer farm here in the shop. And one of the things I'm doing is I'm making some modifications to them, and one is direct drive. Now, with this, I'm opening up the space where the extruder motor used to be on the gantry. And with that, I want to cover that up, but I also want to come up with a cable management system, sort of a simplistic one. And this is the solution. So kind of a long story short, I left holes to mount... Um, into the uh, NEMA 17 standard configuration. Now, I'll probably only use two bolts. I don't need to use four. If you want to use four, there's provisions. And then what I also did is made provisions for two zip strips, and I'll do some overlays on this, uh, to go here so the cable actually will lay in here and then go through and then wrap around. So again, very simple design, however, very practical and functional. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. This will be out on Thingiverse and several of the other key sites if you're interested in grabbing it. So go out there, get it, print something, and hey, if you do a make of this, please post it. Follow me on Thingiverse, Swag Shop, big like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all